Hi guys, welcome to Warwickshire Outdoors. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you to a new member of our family. Uh, it's not a dog, it's not a cat, it's not a child. <laughs> it's a T5 uh, conversion, uh, which I'm really, really chuffed with, which I bought from a friend of mine. So I know the history pretty well. Uh, it's uh, Sleeps 4. So uh, I'm going to have a, show you a quick look around and hopefully you'll get to see a bit more of it over the few, next few months. Spring is in the air, I think the clocks go back next weekend and uh, I'm quite excited about it. So uh, I'll show you around. So here we are guys. I uh, haven't thought of a name for him yet and I'm sure he is a male. I'm sure it is. I haven't thought of a name yet. If I'm going to think of one at all, I don't know. But here we are, I've had him since September uh, last year. I've only uh, slept one night in it so far with um, Carmen and Isaac, I think one of the dogs. And uh, yeah, it's, it was absolutely fantastic. This afternoon, Isaac and I fitted this bonnet bra. There's a little bit of uh, creasing in it. Um, what we've got to do is leave it a few weeks now uh, till the heat of the sun and the engine start to stretch it a little bit more, tighten it up, tighten it up um, a little bit more after that. And then the creases should go out. Cause I noticed I was starting to get a few chips on the bonnet. So let's have a look inside. Uh, this was a work van for many years and um, it was converted by a company called Camper King, a link to which I will um, put down uh, in the description, who are based in Warwickshire. Um, so it's got mainly the original panel in, there is a, a DOB radio in it. Um, the only uh, other little luxury I've got in here is the, uh, the phone holder and the phone charger. Uh, this can be taken out um, and these two seats here can be swivelled to face inwards. You can see the board with a mattress on there. This It's got a, a pop roof. Um, Isaac's has, has slept up there quite nicely and has had a good night's sleep up there in the past. You've seen uh, pop-up roofs put up. Uh, before, so I'm not going to go into much detail about that. I bought a uh, Milenko uh, lock for the steering wheel. Uh, my brother's got one of these for his camper van and he swears by it. So, uh, yeah, that's one of the first things I bought. Actually, I bought that the same day that I bought the van, actually. So let's have a look inside. So here we are guys, uh, absolutely chuffed to bits with this. Um, this comes down into a double bed. Um, you've seen pull out beds before, I'm sure, but this comes out to, to a double bed. There's plenty of storage uh, in here. There's quite a lot of room under the bed there. And there's all sorts of cupboards here um, and in here that's mainly uh, kitchen stuff in there what we got in here some plates and stuff um, we need to kind of figure out what we're going to put in where some boxes and all sorts of stuff um, placemats and things uh, it comes with a sink and two ring hob just here is the electrics um, there's uh, USB ports um, and uh, three pin uh, plugins here which you can use when it's uh, uh, attached to the hookup and this uh, tells you where the how much battery you've got on the leisure battery etc um, and this controls you can uh, put power to the sink uh, for the water pump uh, and the lights and all that sort of stuff that's quite handy there's more storage space up here, as you can see. Some coffee in there, I think, by looks of thing. Um, cups, orange cups. I think about having an orange theme in here at some point. There's a fridge here, guys. The little freezer compartment at the top. Plenty of room in that fridge, just the right size, really. So 
So yeah, really cool. So there you are, peeps, that is the uh, the table set up. There's a little rail across there. So you can move that up and down any way you want to, really. It clips onto a little rail at the back and the leg folds in and you can just tuck it away behind the seat when you're not using it. I don't know whether you notice, there's a pair of Isaac's trousers up in the corner there. I wondered where they went to. So as you can see, there's a phone holder here. Here there's a holder for a tablet. Um, I don't like watching films or anything when I'm out camping or anything, but um, Isaac does sometimes. As you can see guys, there's curtains. The curtains are uh, completely black out. Um, they fold across and then snap uh, closed. And they're really good. So as I said, I'm not going to show you now. I'm sure you've seen lots of these on videos if you're interested in this sort of thing, but you will see it done um, when I'm out and about in this in the future. But see these bolts down here, you just unscrew these bolts, two at the front, two at the back, uh, turn these two chairs round and they face inwards. Um, so it, uh, it turns into a nice little living space then. And then um, uh, once the roof is up, uh, when it's time to go to bed, uh, this is pulled down and then Isaac can just climb up there and get into the roof and sleep up in the roof. Uh, and yeah, it's really cosy. I have one thing I have found, because it's nicely insulated, that um, once you put the heating on, it, it, it really does get quite warm quite nicely and it's quite cosy. Um, I haven't got uh, an added heater to this yet. I haven't really found the need for it. But yet again, I haven't really been out in the cold winter. Uh, but we'll have to see how that goes in future. Maybe I may, I may think about adding one maybe at some point. So uh, this is the double door option. Uh, this is the back. Quite a bit of room and storage space underneath there. Um, here is the metal box for the uh, gas canister. I've got a gas canister in there. And that's quite easy to get in and out. Um, and if we open up this here... That's where all the electronics are and fuses, etc. And a bit more storage space. A little vacuum in there and a dustpan and brush. This is a mattress for the fold out bed. Haven't used it yet, still in its uh, package. But uh, once I've used that, I'll let you know how good that is. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you've had enjoyed having a look at this. It's something I've been wanting uh, for a long time, many years, and haven't had the opportunity uh, to be able to really. Um, but life circumstances changed, and I was uh, all of a sudden able to uh, get hold of one from a friend of ours. So I'm really grateful about that. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to using it. Not perhaps looking forward to so much for the two dogs getting in it after they've been running through muddy streams and stuff like that on holiday. But we'll have to see how that goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. So another thing I wanted to show you today, something else I've been after for a long time, uh, is this uh, Ridge Monkey XL Compact. Uh, this is the new, uh, well, the newer Granite Edition. I'm not quite sure how new uh, this, how long the Granite Edition has been out, but I picked this up at the camping and caravan show at the NEC a couple of weeks ago. I said I've been wanting one for a while. So let's have a look, see what's in here. So there we go. This is what it looks like, and. Uh, it doesn't weigh that much. I'm not quite sure how much it does weigh. Uh, there's a little zip on the side. I've used this once, but I'll put it back the way it was when it comes out the box, just to show you what it looks like when you get. There's the bag. And this is what the uh, thing itself looks like. And it folds up. And inside here, what you have is your utensils. So here have the handles for the pans. And there you go, that allows the pans to close. It's um, 
kept together by these hinges here which do come apart so put it on a 45 degree angle that comes apart and you've got two frying pans or two pans to use however you want to to take the handles off you just press the button there and they come off really easily there's magnets in the end there so when you want to put the pans back together again put it on a 45 degree angle slot them in and then the magnets keep the handles closed and it's just a small amount of pressure to open them up again um i was going to go out and do a video of me using this out and about uh, in the woods but after the last short video i did when i said i was <laughs> hopefully going to be doing some filming i ended up being quite ill with a na really nasty throat infection so this is the first time i've been out uh, to do some filming for a while since then really for a couple of weeks ago so yeah uh i did cook an omelette at home on this just to see what it's like uh, I'll put some pictures up now for you to have a look at that. But I've only used it in anger in the house, so to speak. So I'm looking forward to using this. A lot of people with camper vans say these are invaluable. Uh, you can put toasted sandwiches, put pies in them and all sorts of stuff. Uh, it was really good making the omelette, I must say. Really easy to do. And I think uh, an outdoor piece of equipment. I think it looks, uh, looks as if it's going to do well for me, I think, going forward. So next time I use this in anger... Um, I'll show you um, how it how it works. Um, these are the utensils that come with it. it comes with a spoon, a, a, a slatted spatula, and a normal spatula and a slatted spoon. Um, quite easy to get out. Uh, and I had, did use these when I uh, made my omelette, and they are heat resistant. Didn't uh, they didn't melt? Oh, by the way, the handles to this are heat resistant as well. So I'm looking forward to using that. Um, mainly on a stove, I'd have thought, not really on a fire. Maybe on a stove and maybe on a barbecue, perhaps. But yeah, I look forward to uh, seeing that. So let's see how it goes all back together again. There you go. There we go. It was really easy to clean as well after the last time I used it. So it's flat and compact and won't take up too, uh, too much room either in the van or in your pack if you go out into the woods. So guys, thanks for joining me. Just a quick tour of the van, quick look at the Ridge Monkey, which I'll, uh, I'll uh, be using a little bit more as I go out and about. And uh, as I say, a quick look at the van, which hopefully you'll be able to join me on some nights out on. Um, I'm really looking forward to the spring. It's in very much in the air today. Uh, there's freshness about um, the weather today and that's some lovely blue sky. The, the flowers are out, the birds are singing and i'm really looking forward to, to it it really regenerates me just knowing that the uh, the winter is almost ended as i say i think i said earlier that the clocks uh, go forward uh, next weekend i think so i'm looking forward to that so uh, hopefully you'll be able to join me on more adventures going forward and i'll really look forward to seeing you soon take care guys bye